Hi, Apprentice One class. Welcome to week 22 hands-on science, where we are going to learn how to build a popsicle stick catapult. So what do we know about catapults? Well, you might remember in medieval history, they were used a lot. If you guys remember in the beginning of the year when we learned about medieval history, if you guys, we didn't learn about catapults. That's true, but if you looked into any um, pictures on medieval history or anything like that, you might have seen catapults used because they had to maybe launch things over past the walls or whatever it may be. Okay, so our catapults are going to be much smaller. See, this is the one that we built. Okay, so um, what we're going to do in our catapults is we're going to show physics. So when we put an object in our bucket, this is our bucket, and we pull it back, we are creating potential energy because of the tension stored up in these rubber bands, okay? So I'm gonna pull this back and create potential energy, and we have tension right here, okay? And force, when we let it go and release the potential energy, it's transformed into kinetic energy. Does this sound familiar, guys? Okay, so we release, and send that flying, okay? So how far an item goes could depend on how much mass it has or the aerodynamics of it. If you remembered uh, from a couple weeks ago when we did the paper airplanes, different aer aerodynamics depended on how far a paper airplane might go, okay? So uh, Daniel and Joseph are gonna demonstrate theirs, a couple of different objects and how far they go, okay? All right, I'm going to put the camera down so you can see. This is my catapult. I'm, I'm using a balance ball instead of slime on um, a pom-pom. Wow. That went far because that had a lot of mass. That was a bouncy ball, okay? Next, we're going to do, we'll do it this way. This way. We also have this is the splatterpult. I mean, I use slime for it, and you pull it back, and it and the slime flies. Right. How about one of these bunnies we have here? These look like they might like to fly. One, just do one. Ready? Let's send that bunny flying. See how far he can go. Whoa! He went far. Maybe his ears make him aerodynamic. <laughs> now another one. Right. Awesome job, guys. Awesome. All right. So, like I said, the, I sent you guys the directions, but I can show you really quick so that you, um, please stop. Okay, so you take seven popsicle sticks. Okay, and you're gonna rubber band them together nice and flat. If you have the wider popsicle sticks, they work a little bit better, but I'm gonna do these because this is what you have in your kits. Okay, make it nice and tight on both ends. After you do those, you're going to do two popsicle sticks together at one end, just one end, okay? You're gonna take the two popsicle sticks and open them. See the rubber bands on one end? Open it like a mouth, ready? Um. And you're gonna put the seven inside the two. and then rubber band that together, making an X with the um, rubber bands. This works a lot better with, with the flat, the uh, bigger ones, okay? And then you take whatever it is that you want to use to launch either, like I said, your bucket, if it's a spoon or a bottle cap, sorry, mine's coming apart. 
you put it at this end, okay? And you attach it on like we did here with the spoon, okay? And like I said, the directions are in your email. If you have any questions, let me know. Have fun, and I'd love to see what you guys come up with, if you're able to launch anything further, um, what you use to launch. You can, pom-poms work well too. And um, send me a picture or a video, whatever you like. All right, have fun. <laughs>